Bill makes a good point. There is a possibility that this cave is full of CO2, which will 100% kill us. He's right about that. The CO2 thing, yeah, we need to find a solution for that. Well, I have one. What do you got? We do a little test. No, 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 no. If I light this and stick it in there and it goes out, that means there's CO2. That means we move on our way. You want to use the one match we have in this wet-ass environment for a science experiment? I get it. That's a good little chemistry experiment. It will disprove that there is CO2 in the cave, but I don't know if it's worth using our one match for something that we know is not going to be a problem. This match is way more useful for finding out whether we have CO2 than it is for fire. But we don't have any more matches. We don't need this match for fire. Get me down to some raw material. I can guarantee you we'll have multiple ways to manifest fire. It's wet as hell out here. It's probably going to be raining tomorrow. I'm not worried about burning this match on CO2. Once I get down to the edge of the forest, I'm going to have everything that I need to make fire as many different ways as I can concept. I've not only lit thousands of fires myself, I've taught thousands of people to light thousands of fires. Oh, I got you. You're extremely confident with your fire making. Cool. I don't know you yet. Bill talks a big game, but I'm not super confident about his fire making skills. I've never seen him. We got dumped off in one of the most austere conditions possible. It's going to take a while for him to build trust with me and for me to build trust with him. You want to test the CO2? Is it worth it staying in here? If we can clear it of gas, I'll sleep in here. Fine. I'll trust you on this one. Just promise me we got a fire tomorrow when it starts raining. Done deal. All right. If he screws that fire up tomorrow, we're going to have issues. Fire cannot burn without oxygen. If the air in the cave is full of CO2, the match will only light for an instant. But if the cave is full of oxygen and safe to sleep in, the match will burn brilliantly. All right, man, well, let's give it a test. You got one shot at this. You sure you remember how to use matches? <laughs> it's a little modern for my taste, but I think I got it. I'm ready to light this match, but I'm nervous because now we've wasted the little bit of daylight that we had having this conversation to figure out where we're gonna stay tonight. If it does go out, we're behind the eight ball and we gotta scramble and get down to tree line. You sure? Let's do it, dude. All right, brother, here we go. Hit it. Burn, baby, burn. That's all I can think. Is it going to go out or is it going to stay lit? Right on. Looks like it's working to me. I think it's a good sign. Toss it down. Oh, he's going, bro. Still going. I think we're safe. We're out of the wind, we're out of the rain, and out of the snow. Good call, Grady. Let's go find a bed. Welcome to my humble <laughs> abode, brother.